Foundation YouTube video. Today I will be discussing on how to sound travel from the mechanical energy or force that someone plays an instrument to how I perceive it, to how I hear it. Sound is a vibration that travels through matter. There is first mechanical energy. Someone strumming a string from a guitar, for instance. Then, vibration occurs. Molecules in the air squeeze together and then spread apart. There is compression, which is the part of sound wave where molecules are crowded together. And then there is rarefaction, the part of the sound wave where molecules are spread apart. There are other factors to consider when sound travels. For instance, in the air, we have to also consider the effect of the environment and more, what's in the room. We don't hear sound in terms of their physical description in sound signals. Even our eyes can distract how we perceive sound. But in the biological view, sound travels to our ears in which the primary auditory pathway begins with the hair cells inside the cochlea. And entails further processing in the cochlear nuclei. Additional nuclei in the brainstem, the inferior colliculus in the midbrain, and the medial geniculate nuclei of the thalamus before arriving at the primary auditory cortex. There's so much that happens with sound or sound signal and how we perceive sound or sound stimulus. That would be all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.